Greetings. I greet you, all divine souls. I greet you in the name of our Father, Mother God, and all the divine light being kingdom. Um, please, the words which you're going to hear, in case they don't resonate with your heart, uh, I ask you kindly to leave, to leave them or use them to recharge the truth within your inner self. The letter uh, for now is from uh, Archangel Michael. Uh, the title is Mastering the Dense, the Dense World of Duality and Polarity via Rosa, Rona uh, Vezena. It goes like this. Beloved Masters, your journey into, into density has been quite an adventure. It has spanned billions of years according to your uh, timekeeping. We have explained how and as you move deeper and deeper into the great void and the darkness of the space. You are, you are assisted in filling that void with light, substance, texture, and shape beyond your wildest imaginations. And then, according to the divine plan, you submerged yourself within each new reality you had helped fashion so that you could experience creation in its many magnificent, magnificent and diverse forms. Thus began the, mag the manifestation of solid matter via the pure uh, thought, via the pure thought brought forth from the mind of the supreme creator, and later from the mind of the father of of the father, mother God of each universe. And in virtually uh, via your thoughts as you moved further and further from the pure source of all creation. After you came into your in, in individualized consciousness, uh, realizing that you were a divine spark of the supreme creator that all, that all, that the, the all that is, you knew that you were uh, predestined to journey forth into great and manifestation void as an emissary of light, for it was encoded deep within your uh, mortal soul, within your mortal soul, and uh, your sacred heart core. You, you along with all the other awakened sparks of divine consciousness, were are destined to experience all the wondrous diversity of creation for the creator our father mother god and all our great and all the great beings of light who remained within and the refined rims of creator light we tell you this because we wish to impress you to impress you upon you how ancient and complex you are. You came into this lifetime with a wealth of knowledge and a rich, complex lineage encoded within your DNA, your cellular structure, your metal, your metal and metal and emotional bodies, as well as as well as within your extensive chakra system of awareness. You often wonder why the mem why the members of a family are so different when from a narrow point of view, they came from the same parents and lineage. The lineage of your earthly family in this lifetime is only a, 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 a mutual portion of your past and, and, priceless, and priceless heritage. You have separated your consciousness and fragment or fragmented yourself millions of times in order to experience the great diversity of creation. You have also uh, reunited with many of your mouth facets 
of yourself more times than you can count. Each time you did so, you added more complex information and unique experience to your memory bank. The further you moved away from the perfection of the Supreme Creator and deeper you moved into a more a more dimensionality, the denser and less perfect your creation became. For you had less pure light substance to work with. Therefore, there is no brain and there and there should be no feeling of guilty and failure. It was learn, it was a learning experience. However, it is now time for you to reclaim your self-mastery and ability to create things of beauty and harmony in accordance with the original with the original divine plan. Now that you are aware that you have the power to tap into unlimited supply of full spectrum of creator light called the Andaman, the the Adaman, the Adaman particles, which I what are you waiting for? It's the question. The, what are you waiting for? The rejection of your divine birthright is a transversal, and yourself and your and your higher self will not will not relent in its nagging to help you awaken and claim your loyal heritage. We have explained how the spectrum of light and shadow was created in this universe so that you could experience your origin and polarity. In the higher dimensions, those closest to our Father Mother God and the Great, uh, and the great Central Sun, uh, the duality spectrum is very narrow, narrow. However, it became broader and more pronounced as your as each dimension was established until it reached what was to be the maximum duality that was to be experienced by humanity. You are aware that it was not ordained or intended that humanity should sink so, so deeply into duality and polarity, thereby causing so much pain and suffering. The time has arrived for the distortion and expresses and the ex and the ex and the excesses of the past to be brought back into harmony, and it is our greatest desire to assist you to move through this process with ease and grace. Will you please hint our words? You are not judged. Never have been. Never have been by anyone or any being from the unseen or higher realm. You only judge yourself. Under the universal laws of cause and effect, all thoughts, intentions, and deeds are stored within your auric field and your chakra system. You radiate the vibrational patterns thereby created, which go forth from you into an infinite pattern and return to you in in like frequency and measures in the past in the past it often took many lifetimes to reap the rewards of positive loving actions or the, to experience the penalt for negative or harmful actions therefore most often it wasn't obvious that the righteous the righteousness are that the righteous are deeds rewarded or unrighteousness also receive their just reward in kind. Again, no great or small being is doing, is, is drawing out reward or punishment. The universal law are firmly in place and your higher self monitors your progress or lack thereby either clearing the way ahead and blessing you with miracles large and small or by pressing more obstacles before you in in hopes in hopes you will awaken and step onto the spiral of ascension beloved too many of you are carrying great burdens from the past uh from the past mistakes you have made in the 
in, in this lifetime. And also many from the past conditioning and buried memories of painful events and actions from all your previous lifetimes. Holding onto those memories or carrying the, burden, the burdens of inquiry, inquiry, equality, equality no longer serves you. It is time for you to allow us to help you to heal uh, the painful memory of the past, just as we are clearing the distortion of the, uh, the third and fourth uh, dimensional corrective consciousness, beloved patterns, and bring those dimensional dimensions back into their original design spectrum of duality. As you descended into the restricted limit, limiting dream of consciousness, uh, membranes of light were pressed around the mouth, the mouth strands of your DNA, leaving only two uh, accessible and active. Membranes of light were also pressed over your memory as well as around the light uh, packets of wisdom stored within your higher brain structure. A veil was put over your memory so that most often you couldn't remember your past lives, for it would be too much of burden to remember all your past mistakes and imperfection. It was an act of mercy, for it was for it has proven difficult enough for you to forgive yourself for your errors and uh, uh, misjudgments in this lifetime, much less all your past uh, ablation, uh, ablations. These restrictive membranes of light, these restrictive membranes of light are uh, slowly dissolving as you return to balance and harmony and advance on the spire of ascension and, and reunification. A membrane of light was placed over the portal at the back of your sacred heart center until it, until it was time for you to begin your journey back into the higher dimensions and the, rain, and the rims of light. However, you and you alone pressed a membrane of protection over the front vortex of your sacred heart center be because so often you have been hurt, disappointed, and disillusioned. Slowly but surely through the techniques we have given you, you have dissolved those restrictive membranes so that so that the light and so light the love and light can flow freely to and from you in the way it was intended. In order to access and radiate the ever increasing frequency of light, you must be able to integrate and 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 permit and permit your being and permeate your being with with these advanced uh, vibratory patterns, and you must prepare and you must be prepared uh, to radiate them down into the core of of the earth and then pro project them out into the world at large via your sacred heart center portal from both the front and the back. Remember, we told you that when you, are when you first came to earth, you were a shining crystal pillars of light. Slowly, as you sunk into the density, you became, you began, you began to draw a cross of matter that became more and more unwieldy as your spectrum of light and shadow increased. Now, now you are loving those uh, fragments fag, 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 you have created back into balance and, and harmony as you seek and tap into your higher and higher frequency of light. You are in a process of becoming a cross of light, uh, beloved, as your as your spinal, as your spinal chakra system uh, begins ignited, begin begins ignited, and you radiate love, light, love and light from your sacred heart center in front and behind you. 
we have repeat we have repeatedly told you to heal the past script script your future and then live in the moment for this very moment is this is the still point or the power center of creation why not move into the center of that spiral into the eyes of the warity and polarity where all calm and peace and peaceful and filled with pure rich creator light just waiting to be molded into your vision of the future this very moment as you move into your sacred heart center you can experience the profound love and compassion of our father mother god and the supreme creator and you will surely become aware that you are a treasured son and daughter of an import on an important mission and nothing you can say or do can diminish that love remember your emotions metal metal and etheric bodies can be healed can be healed and transformed back into holiness via the gift of forgiveness stand in front of a mirror and gaze into your own eyes or go into your pyramid of light and lie in and lie on the crystal table set set yourself say to yourself i forgive myself for any action thought or deed past present or future in this and in this or any other reality that has not been composed of the frequency of the sacred heart i forgive everyone i feel has treated me unjust in this or any other lifetime and i return and i return to them uh, wrapped in the bubble of bubble of love all negative memories uh impact impacted energies and a probable future that where that we have created together i ask the angel of forgiveness to permit all facets of my beings with a frequency of love all of love and light so that i may become a, a soul force a, a soul focused and a soul focused pardon a soul focused and heart centered bearer of light and self master breathe deeply as you go as you move into your sacred heart so your sacred heart center breathe deeply as you move into your sacred heart center allow the pure love love light to power to power down to power down through you via your your higher self feel the expansion in your heart center as this divine eric of love permeates the very deep of your beingness sacred love is what frees you from the scrap scrap you have woven around yourself binding restricting and intertwining inter intertwining you into cosmic into a uh, comic in comic interactions when you when you deny this love you are denying your heritage you are denying your divine birthright perform this exercise as often as necessary until you feel you have accepted the truth that you are worthy of forgiveness forgiveness of self which uh, facilitates a forgiveness of all others is an integral step in the process of opening the portal to your sacred heart center remember your sacred heart portal must be opened in order to be successfully connected with the higher facets of your soul family you must you must be having you must be having a concert or concert a concerted concentrated concentrated effort to return to harmony and balance within your own being in order to be ready to begin the exciting journey into your unity consciousness your pain 
unsatisfying uh, three relationships are uh, a, a result of inner feeling of unworthiness, guilty, fear of failure and rejection. The battle of sexes is really an, an internal battle with self. As you, as, as you project your needs, wants and desire outward to someone else in, all, in, in hopes that they can supply what is missing within. Your relationship will purely reflect to you the negative energy you need to overcome, as well as some of the positive attitudes you desire for yourself. Neither, neither can be painful or fulfilling, depending on the way you wish to play the game of the worry till relationship. Negative best physical relationship are fear best, alleged, uh, self absorbed and limiting. Secret relationships are love based and spirit inspired and allowing each party to integrate and express the positive att attributes of, of their intrinsic uh, masculine ma and feminine nature. Uh, they they focus on holiness and unity and yet are, are, are fixable and allow freedom of expression. As you lift your consciousness and return to harmony within, you let yet forth more refined frequency patterns and therefore you will attract you you will attract to you those who are radiating and are comfortable with the same level of light spectrum. The reunification process entails rejoining multiple facets and levels of your soul family consisting of your earthly family, your solar, your solar, galactic and universal family, and the many facets of self, including your divine twin frame, then eventually the wholeness of your I am presence. Beloved, wouldn't, wouldn't you begin the process of forgiveness now and make a concentrated effort to open the portal of your sacred heart center so that these wonderful gifts can be showered down unto you. Call unto us. Allow us to assist you. Remember, we are always a heartbeat and a thought away. We unfold you in sacred, unconditioned love. Um, I'm um, Archangel Michael. Namaste.